Okay, first things first about this video. I'm not using a tripod because I'm filming in the bathroom. So, I'm going to show you <laughs> the tripod I've set up for myself. Bam! A box of chest all cough syrup and a bathroom spray. Yeah. Hello YouTube, it is the end of another month, of course, so this means that today is a book of the month video, and today's book of the month is... When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Hope Fletcher. If you're new here, hello, my name is Tori Cyclic. I make new videos every Sunday for Cyclic Sunday with other videos throughout the week. If you like what you see, like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description at TSS6295. Now, let's get into the video. I'm standing to film this vlog, which is very weird for me because usually I'm sitting on my bed. So I like feel like I have to be very presentational and that kind of thing. So if you didn't already know from the millions of times I talked about Carrie Hope Fletcher on my channel. I'm a huge fan of Carrie Hope Fletcher. I made a reaction video to her album that came out earlier this year, which is the same title, When the Curtain Falls, and that was life-changing. I've also talked about this before. I met Carrie when I went on my study abroad in London, and that was really awesome because she was in Les Mis then, and I was wanting to meet her for such a long time because she's a huge inspiration to me in the world of theater and in the world of vlogging. And when I got to meet her, she was the sweetest person ever, and I, I was just very happy to get to meet her in person after watching her vlogs for such a long time. And I've read all of her other books as well, love them, enjoy them, really thought they were really fun and very magical. They had a lot of magical realism in them, and this book is kind of similar to that, so I'm going to talk about it here. So I'm going to read to you guys the inside flap cover of the book to tell you what the book is about, just so you guys have a little idea of it. Also, this is going to be a non-spoilery review for you guys, because obviously you don't want to ruin the book for you guys. I want you all to read it. I'm going to talk about the characters, what I thought about them, the writing, that kind of stuff, without giving too much away. Theaters have a certain kind of magic. When the curtain rises, we are all enraptured by the glare of the lights and the smell of the grease paint. When the curtain falls, that's where the real magic begins. In 1952, two young lovers, Vaughn Burroughs and Walter Brown, meet backstage in a beautiful West End theater during a production of When the Curtain Falls. Between clandestine meetings and stolen moments, they must hide their love from the one person who will stop at nothing to keep Vaughn for himself. But life in the theater doesn't always follow the script, and tragedy and heartache are waiting in the wings for all the players. Almost 70 years later, a new production arrives at the theater, bringing with it Oscar Bright and Olive green and their budding romance. But no sooner has the new cast settled into their dressing rooms than strange things begin to happen. Ghosts of production's past haunt the theater, or so the story goes. Can Oscar and Olive get to the truth of the matter before tragedy strikes once more? Moulin Rouge meets Phantom of the Opera in the spellbinding and magical story of unrequited love and revenge. When the curtain falls is Carrie Hope Fletcher at her romantic best, it will take your breath away. So for me, being a theater person and having read a lot of like theater people biography slash memoirs this year, it's been really nice to read a fiction-based theater book, and it's very magical, lots of romance in it. I really enjoy it. It very much fits into the like the YA women's fiction slash teen fiction, but it also has a lot of romance in it. One of the things I really like about the design of this book I'm going to show you here is the inside cover. This is one of the things I really love about Carrie's books is that even the inside cover of the book as well as like the back of it is just really really gorgeous. Like there's symbolism from the rest of the book, there's a little mask there, it has the title on it, it has her logo on here. It's just really gorgeously put together all of her books and then the inside cover has like a mask, a gun, a rose, pearls, all kind of stuff that relates to the book and it's just very gorgeously put together all of her books and every single one of them is kind of similar in that way. I also really like that all of Carrie's books have the same kind of design on the front cover that it's like the titles in the middle in the same font. I think all of them are also five words as well and then it has everything kind of going around it on the outside so it's like you see the title in the center and then everything around the cover kind of like draws your eye to it and makes it very much like look at this look at this cover but also look at all the things that are on the cover that relate to the story that you don't know yet because you haven't read the book so there's two different sets of characters in two times in this book there's fawn and walter in 1952 and oscar and olive in present day i'm assuming it's 2017 2018 so that's when the book was written when i was first reading through the book the first thing that i thought of about oscar and olive is that they remind me a lot of carrie and oliver ormson who she did the adams family with he played lucas beinecke when they were on the tour together and now they're in a relationship. Everything that they do with their characters, Oscar and Olive, it seems a lot like how Carrie and Oliver are in Carrie's videos and from everything that you see online. They're very playful with each other in rehearsals and everything that they do throughout the show as being romantic leads together in this production of When the Curtain Falls, but 
their personalities also kind of seem like Carrie and Oliver and also the way they're described in the book. I know that Carrie based a lot of her characters on real people and it's influenced by people in her life so it kind of makes sense and also it was also she was writing this book when she was doing The Addams Family so it makes sense that a lot of the characters are based on people that like she was around during that time and also just writers influence too. I really like the magical realism that's throughout all of this book because it allows you to really get sucked into the world of theater because theater is so magical on its own as well. It also has like the magical realism that comes with romance. There's a real difference in the writing between the 1952 section with Fawn and Walter and the Oscar and Olive section that's in present day. I kind of prefer the writing that's in the 1952 section because I think it fits a little bit better with the tone of the book. It's a little bit heightened in the language, not in like a Shakespearean kind of way, but in it feels like you're in an old time. It all kind of fits in that way of like the way that she talks about romance and the way she talks about how Walter and Fawn look at each other and see each other in this world. It just fits a lot better there in my opinion, but I still love the writing that's in the 2018 section as well. It just feels a, a tiny bit out of place just because it's a little bit heightened, but it's not bad at all. The only other issue that I have with the book is that the perspectives kind of shift really quickly. I think this is also partially because in reading Eve of Man last month by Tom and G. Fletcher, they have the perspective so clearly defined between telling the story from two different people. Like you have chapters from one character and chapters from another. Whereas with When the Curtain Falls, you have like paragraphs kind of talking from one person's perspective and then it switches right into the next sentence. Like there's not really a break in the pages, if that makes any sense. And yeah, it's a little bit confusing at times. You have to really pay attention while you're reading the book, but it's also good for like making sure you're really paying attention to the stories that are happening throughout the book. There's a lot of discussions about fame and fan bases throughout the book, which I feel like Carrie is imbuing from her own personal life into the characters of Oscar and Olive. It comes up particularly with them. And it, she presents it in a way that she's not being like, hey, this is me talking about my opinions about fan bases and fan culture and fame and that kind of thing. But she presents it through the eyes of her characters and it makes you understand it a little bit more. On page 169 of the book here, there is a section where Carrie is talking about like ensembles versus leads in a show. And I thought it was very interesting that she wrote this because Carrie has never really in her career been an ensemble actor. She's always been like either a featured lead or a lead actress. And I really appreciate this as somebody who's like been in the ensemble a lot. So I'm going to read this to you so you guys can kind of understand that as well. I feel like she, she words it really well as to what the ensemble does in a show and helps for people who aren't in theater to kind of understand it. The ensemble carries a show. Those dance numbers would look pretty empty with only a few principals scattered about. Those choral numbers would sound pretty naff with only two or three voices, wouldn't they? Lenny tapped a cigar, more ash joining the carpet. Of course, said Walter. Then show a little respect inside these walls, all right? It's the people in the background that matter the most. Overall, I think that When the Curtain Falls is a very fun, theatrical, romantic book. And if you want to just kind of like escape too, I think this is really good at that because like you're taken backstage and taken into the world of theater, so you're kind of escaping from the real world into this. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the comments below, if you have read When the Curtain Falls, let me know what you think of it down below and keep leaving me those book recommendations as well. You can like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description at TSS6295DFTBA and I will see you guys next time. Bye!